Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by and digging into the card pile. I've uh, got a couple things going on. First of all, uh, I'm on the road to 300 subscribers. Uh, in my last video, I posted a few cards that uh, I would be doing a giveaway for. Um, basically, I'm going to give away a pile of cards. Fitting, huh? Anyway, this is what I had in the first batch. I mean, the first couple cards I wanted to throw into the pile. It is the uh, Rusty Staub trophy card for the Houston Colts, Colt 45s, the Barry Bonds 87 Tops rookie card, and the 1974 Tops 1973 batting leaders with Rod Carew and Pete Rose. Those are a couple of the cards. And then I would decided, I've been going through and I'm going to I'm going to add a little more every time I get closer to 300. I think I'm at 275 now, something like that. So I'm getting close. So I figured I would uh, throw a couple other cards in there. And the first one I'm going to throw in is this 1972 Fleer by the R.G. Laughlin Group. This card pretty good shape the corner might be a tad bumpy but uh it's baseball's famous feats and this is Hank Gowdy back's pretty clean like I mentioned that upper the, the corner right there and right there but anyway it's a freebie so why not and then this next one is uh a Ted Williams card. Can't remember what year this is, and somebody's gonna probably blow me smoke for not knowing what year it is. Uh, probably Skip Irish. But anyway, it's a Ted Williams card. And then the last one I'm gonna add for now is just something I have. Uh, I have the complete set. And I have a few extras, and uh, it's from the 70s, and it's from the band Kiss when they made trading cards. And this is Ace Fraley, my favorite member of Kiss, and probably my favorite guitar player of all time. I know, you got your Jimi Hendrixes, you got your Jeff Becks, you got your uh, Slashes, and so forth. Um, but for me, this is the guy right here, Ace Fraley. There's the back of the puzzle piece, but there's the front. I mean, he shocked himself on stage and then came back and played. Come on. Then we have uh, played it uh, over here at Purdue, right across the river. Jim Everett, this is when he played for the Rams. This is some sort of uh, limited edition card. For some reason, I picked up a box of uh, random cards at a sports card and memorabilia show and there was like 20 of these in this box and I was like okay so so congratulations whoever wins this is going to get a Jim Everett limited edition card don't call him Chris and I'll add a couple more here and there um, hopefully uh, the more I add the better it will get and we'll get to 300 and We'll have the contest and hopefully you win or at least come close. The next thing I'd like to talk about is uh, when I picked up some cards the other week, I was showing them and I had forgot one card and nothing super major, but I was like, ah, I can't, you know, it was such an oversight that I missed this card. And it's the 1970 National League Pitching Leaders. And it's got, I mean, four great ones right there. You got Negro, you got Fergie Jenkins, you got Juan Marshall and Tom Seaver. But yeah, I can't believe I totally forgot that. So that was a pretty nice pickup. And I know everybody's getting hyped up for the National coming up over in Cleveland. And uh, I'm just not going to be able to make it this year. Um, and for the simple fact that the more I've been pondering it, uh, finances always come into play. But... When I went to the National in Chicago in 2021, I had a super goal, I had a plan, I had a mission. And that was to trade 
my complete set, PSA graded, five or better, 1960 Fleer set. And uh, I was looking to get a Pete Rose rookie card any way how I could. Well, just so happens Pete Rose was signing at the National that day. Uh, I believe I was there on a Saturday. And every vendor I went to, every single one, hundreds of them, it seemed like, they all said pretty much the same thing. Oh, man, just sold it. Oh, man, just sold it. Or I wish I had one, but oh, man, I just sold it. I heard that so much. Eventually, I end up did trading the set for several good cards, several good cards, and uh, and a little bit of cash. And one of the cards I got was the SCG5, SGC5 Pete Rose trophy, trophy card. So a lot of people like that card better because it's him alone. It's got the trophy. It's got everything. But I myself still, that is... Uh, I've had a few Grail cards, uh, the Reggie Jackson rookie being one of them, uh, the John Littlefield reverse negative and corrected version set was another, and I've been lucky and fortunate enough to collect those, but I'm not pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to obtain this uh, Rose rookie card, so I'm just going to hang on to the SGC one, and hopefully, you know... You never know. Maybe one day it'll happen. Maybe one day it won't. But at least I'll have that one. And I think that's a pretty sweet card to have. I can't even show it to you right now because I don't want to go looking through the, the box. But anyway, you've seen it before. I've made videos of it before. It is uh, the closest I'll get to the, the Grail card of the 63 Top Speed Rose. But I'm pretty happy with it. So, without a mission going there, I don't want to just go there and blow a bunch of money or, you know, yeah, just to blow a bunch of money. I'll just kick back, pick pick and choose here and there, you know, from uh, card shows I go to or card shops I go to, maybe some eBay buys, but those have been uh, far and few between lately. Um, I like the more card experience uh, with the shops and the shows. So that's that's pretty much my route for now. But anyway, for those of you going to the National, hope you have a good time. Make sure you pick me up something nice and definitely be safe out there. All right, thanks for watching the video. And like I mentioned before, almost to 300 subscribers. And when I do, we'll have a giveaway. I'm working on, on the pile of cards as we speak. I'd appreciate it. If you uh, haven't subscribed already, please do. And for those of you that have, Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And I think I got another video coming up soon where we're going to do the pack wars between these. So stay tuned for that. Again, have fun at the National. Get some good stuff. And thanks for watching.